Leanne Andrews for MA UK and in front of us we have our winner Richard, the face of Bellator, still intact. I can't believe he tried to unpretty the face. Uh, he landed a shot. I was also, I got an eye poke and I turned to the ref, which I shouldn't have done. And he landed a strike, so I'm not happy with the performance. But look, I knocked him out. I should be putting him away a lot earlier than that. So look, it is what it is. Uh, look, not much to say about it. I got the knockout. Job done. You carried your hands very low in that. Oh. I can't, I can't believe they didn't give the best talker in this organisation a microphone to talk. They can't believe they get the best fighter, best or the best striker and best uh, talker in this organisation wasn't on Sky Sports. But look, come here it is what it is. Next one, bring on the next one. In regards to who I'm going to call out next, where's Lawrence? Lawrence Larkin. Uh, look, that'd be an easy fight. Uh, you saw what happened with Daly when anyone has a bit of power. He folded. Um, so there's another fella there, Terence. Um, if he acknowledges that I'm the face of Bellator, asks me really nicely, tells me how handsome I am, and tell, acknowledges the fact that I'd knock him out as well, I'll make him famous on a main event or a co-main event on Sky Sports. So you had your hands quite low during the fight, but you worked very well in and out, in and out. You'd already dazed him. Was it just a matter of just putting him away at the end? Yeah, look, come here. I was actually quite... Fr the question was, was I uh, had my hands low and was I... Uh, he was durable. Yeah, he was durable, but look, at this level, all you expect them all to be durable, except for Lawrence and Terence. Um, but, like I said, I should be putting him away a lot earlier than that. What was it, the fourth minute or something? He should be gone in the first. Uh, but look, that's my first, that's my first fight back after 15 months, um, after a near career and a knee injury. Um, so it was just about getting my time and back, fighting back onto my stage out there. Um, but look, I knew I had him, I knew I hurt him. Like, I'm really, really disappointed that I took my eye off the ball and let him hit me. Like, that's, that's a big call. should be arrested for that. So the face of Bellator is intact and uninjured and you're ready to go. How soon would you like to be out again? When is the next when is the next card? Sorry? Birmingham card. Birmingham card card sounds good. Uh, Birmingham MA sounds good. Um, and like I said, I, I, the before this fight I proclaimed was gonna volley his chin into the uh, into the crowd. By the way, and I didn't, so I'm really disappointed at that. Must be losing my touch. However, the, one of the officials came in and said it was a it was a K, it was a straight KO. That's not a TKO. So when you're doing your report, make sure that you get that in. It was a KO, straight KO. Should have been a walk off. Congratulations, Richard. Yourself going into this fight, but the, you know Bellator didn't exactly push you in that way. You weren't at the media day on Thursday. They didn't give you an interview in the caves there. It, does that annoy you a little bit? It does annoy me. Like I said, it's well, it's it's, it's counterproductive to their interest. Like you saw the pop that I got when I walked out there. I'd imagine that was probably one of the loudest pops of the night. Um, if not the loudest. Like I said, I'm the best talker in the company, I'm the best striker in the company. I'm gold. I bring people, I put bums on seats whether you like me or dislike me. So I don't know, uh, I don't know what the agenda is behind that. It feels like there's some sort of agenda. I don't know what's going on. Uh, people trying to subjugate the face of Bellator. Uh, but I'm an underground movement. Richard, you flirted with the idea of retirement for a while there. So everything from the, cr the crowd to the finish, to the walkout, did you make the right call and come back? What do you think? Did I make the right call? Yes, I made the right call. I just had to after 15 months out with a near career and an injury, I just after walking out there with little or no promotion behind me, after getting the biggest pop of the night, and I'm after putting a guy asleep in, in, in under a round. Um, like I said, there was rustiness there by all means, my timing was off, and what have you, but look, that's me on my worst day, and look what I did, I put someone to sleep, you know. That's, like he, I went over to say goodbye to him, he, was, he didn't even recognise me. So, Paul Daly. I'm the one with no top on wearing pink. <laughs> Paul Daly. Paulie and Daly, we're giving him his proper title. Is that a guy you want maybe looking at next, trying to entice over here back to England? Absolutely, Paul Daly, Paul Daly, he's at the, he's at the show and he's one dimensional. We haven't got an answer for uh, MVP. Now, Envy, that earthworm was, that earthworm was crap as well. Uh, but uh, look, Paul Daly, by all means, that, that book bums and seats, it's a main event and it also sparked him. He's one dimensional, he's proved he's one dimensional. I called it, I just called it on severe MMA. I told exactly how that fight was going to go, didn't I? Yeah. I Put the mic up there, didn't I? Yes, you did. Yes, I did. <laughs> All right. I also said that I would, he was one-dimensional. He wouldn't be able to deal with it. I said it'd be a jabbing fight, didn't I? Yes, you did. That's a yes, I did. And so, exactly, I'll give it another, I'll give it another shout. That yes, absolutely. If Paul Ian Daly came over here, I would spark him as well. He's, he's good. He's decent to be standing in the pocket with him. Why would I do that? I'll just do him from distance and knock him out the way I did. I'll time him and beat, just, just spark him. Your winner, Richard, everyone. Thank you.